Hey there, it's Shannon Mapchick Myers, and we are continuing our lecture on 3.1. Grab your 1.3 notes so that you have them to look at. We're going over an LR series circuit um, for this problem. All right, so basically the um, L in this case is the inductance R is the resistance E at T is the impressed voltage and um, so basically and then we'll have I at T which is our current. So the basically the the sum of the voltage of the inductance and resistance needs to be equal to the impressed voltage. And so we were looking at at this in um, you know how to model these kinds of things in section one point three, and. the inductance um, times the instantaneous rate of change of the current with respect to time, di dt, plus r times the current i, so the resistance times the current i, has to equal to that impressed voltage, e at t. And so in this case, um, we've been given that the inductance is one-tenth of a Henry. The resistance is 50 ohms. And our E at T in this case is going to be 30. And so let's uh, check it out. Plugging in, we will have 0 0.1 di dt plus 50i equals 30. And then we need to have a coefficient of 1 in front of that di dt. So if I multiply both sides by 10, I'll clear that out. So we'll have di dt plus 500i is equal to 300. Now we have to find our integrating factor for this. So our integrating factor, because this is linear in form, is going to be e to the integral, the coefficient in front of the i is 500 dt, which is e to the 500t. So multiplying both sides by e to the 500t, we'll have it set up where we can integrate. So we'll have ddt of e to the 500t times i is equal to 300 e to the 500 t and now whoops dt and now also remember that that we'd be doing say a u substitution for the 500 t in the exponent and so du would equal to 500 dt so i need to have a 500 here and so i need to divide by 500 and now when I integrate both sides, so let me put it in that right format, we'll have e to the 500 t di equals 3 fifths, because of the 300 over 500, 500 e to the 500 t dt. And now I can integrate both sides and I will have e to the 500 t times i equals 3 fifths e 
to the 500 T plus our constant of integration. And now we will have to clear out or isolate I. So if we multiply both sides by E to the negative 500 T, then we will have I on the left side is equal to 3 fifths plus C E to the negative 500 T. Good so far? Awesome. All right, so we've been given another bit of information. We've been given that I at zero is zero. So using that, I at zero is zero. So we'll get zero equals three fifths plus C E to the negative 500 times zero, which will give us that C is equal to negative three fifths. So in general, I at T will equal to three fifths minus three fifths E to the negative 500 T and we're good to go. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And if you like what I'm doing, hey, hit like and subscribe. Bye.